I'm dying to know what you've been watching lately. I'm gonna show you what I've been watching and my final thoughts on them. I think by now we have all seen Quiet On Set, the dark side of kids TV, which is all about the Nickelodeon channel and just kind of everything that went on behind closed doors. It's a tragic, sad, um, disappointing, there's just so many words to describe this documentary. I was not a Nickelodeon kid. I actually was more of a Disney kid. I wasn't really into Nickelodeon until my kids started watching. And that was the later days, you know, the iCarly, Victoria. So I didn't watch the Amanda show. I didn't watch all that. I didn't watch any of those. Drake and Josh, maybe the later end of it. But overall, just after watching this, it really just makes your heart break. For these kids and everything they went through and I just don't understand how so much of this could have gone on and just kept a secret it really bothers me and it just you know these kids have dreams of being you know in the entertainment industry and then for these adults to just shatter them it was it was a lot to take in I actually watched this in one sitting just because I I couldn't believe my eyes I really couldn't and I think it's important for people to see this and to understand and be made aware of what is out there because the more you know, the more you understand. So yeah, it's uh, it's hard to watch this one, but I do think you should see it. I finished Gilmore Girls, finally. I'm so happy about it. And I actually went back and I watched A Year in the Life I don't, again, I don't understand why people say this is their comfort show. I I will never rewatch this show. I don't think I can put myself through that again. I think it's a very difficult show to watch, for me at least. I just, they drive me crazy. They really do. Their choices, their actions. Rory Gilmore to me started off so strong and just, no, was not it as a character. I was really disappointed in Lane's character. I did not want them to make her be pregnant and married at such a young age. I feel like Lane deserved better. I wanted more for her. I wanted her to go off and become this rock star and show her mom that I can do it. But I feel like her character was just, oh, it really bothered me that she had kids and marriage and I don't know. I, I just... I don't know. This show is just, um, I can see why people like it sometimes. But again, to rewatch this, like people say they rewatch it every fall, I could never. I could never. I actually saw the new Ghostbusters. I would never go see this movie on my own, but we took our students on a field trip and this is the movie we watched. I personally could not get into it. This is just not my type of movie. I wasn't even a fan of the original Ghostbusters. Um, is there action? Yeah, but I don't know. I still couldn't get into it. I just, I was excited when it was over. <laughs> I saw Wonka last night. I know I'm late. I wanted to love it. I wanted to love it, but I didn't. I just, I thought it was a little boring. There were a few scenes that I loved thought were great but I felt like a lot of the movie was just fluff like I just couldn't get into it I love Timothy Chalamet I love the original Willy Wonka one of my favorite movies growing up but I just I just really couldn't get into this one and I even think I like the Johnny Depp version more than this one so I feel like they go in order you know Gene Wilder Johnny Depp Timothy Chalamet um it's pretty it's visually you know really beautiful in some scenes but I just, it didn't capture me. If I have to, if I reach for my phone, it's not, it's not really doing what it needs to do. So I was a little disappointed, but I thought it was good. I don't, I don't think it was great. All right, it's your turn. Tell me in the comments what you've been watching.